Everybody here is trying to, in the world, what you're asking is you're trying to be three for three, right? You want to be three and oh. Three right decisions, no wrong decisions. I'm trying to be 118 to 92. G'day Gary, how you doing Mike? Doing well, how are you? Very good, thank you. Now, first of all, I'm starting a startup behind us on a plate. This is a vegan meals business. My question to you is that as a business owner or starting up a business, I want to make decisions, which I am, because I know there is no other way to start a business. Yes. The question is that how do you make level-headed decisions all the time? And if you do, first of all, and if you... If you do, how I, do you? I feel historically I've been really good at it because I'm completely unemotional. Mm -hmm. It's and, business. Okay, well then probably it answers the next part of my question that if the decision you make doesn't turn out to be the right decision. I move on. How do you move on? Like how do you not dwell By on not that? By not overjudging myself. Okay. All right, well that's good, thank you. I and mean, and let's play it out. Like, what are you going to beat up yourself the rest of the year? Like, no. to me, life is about alternatives. I make decisions super fast. I make decisions because the speed of the decision is more valuable than the debate. Because if I'm right, I'm right. And if I'm wrong, who gives a fuck? I'm not sitting, I'm sitting up here as a byproduct of getting Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, LinkedIn right. I spent a lot of time on Peach, on Social Cam, on Vero, on Viddler, those didn't work out. When you make decisions and you don't dwell, the net outpaces. Everybody here is trying to, in the world, what you're asking is you're trying to be three for three, right? You wanna be three and oh. Three right decisions, no wrong decisions. I'm trying to be 118 to 92. Got it? No. Let me explain. Everybody's looking for perfection because perfection is the disguise of insecurity. I'm just doing because I'm not worried about the ramifications. Okay. As long as you're not dead or out of business, no mistake is a big deal. Where this goes is people being worried about judgment. See, I like it best when things look bad. I'm a wartime general in a world of peacetime generals. That's an entrepreneur. That's why I'm scared people are getting into this when they're not. You starting a business with that being a top concern is a humongous vulnerability. Doesn't mean you can't get over it. I'm just trying to make sure during this era of everybody being a fucking entrepreneur, that entrepreneurs need to really communicate what it's about so that other people don't just go into it because it looks good because it's really hard to be a zebra when you're a fucking penguin.